good kitten internet. Uh, it's only been one day since the last batch of videos, and I feel like playing because I'm kind of feeling like garbage in other ways. So let's go ahead and get back into it. So where I last left off was in, I can speak, I swear, was in Castle Ironfist. Iron. Spellmasters would be really nice, but not so much. Okay, so here's the thing. I've only explored half of Castle Ironfist, and there's a fair amount of stuff down here. There's actually an arena. Not the arena that I showed you at the end of a previous episode, but uh, it's different. It's more of a trap than arena. Um, I have a couple of quests over here. So I have the Chime, or no, I don't have the Chime of Harmony. That requires me to go to the Temple of Ba. Which I know where that's at. That's in Castle Ironfist. Lord Kilborn Shield is in Blackshire, so I'm not going to go there yet. Damsel in Distress, I don't even remember off the top of my head. Devil's Outpost is in Kriegspire. Warlord is in Frozen Highlands. Etheric Skull is in Freehaven. Dragon's Keep is in Freehaven, I believe. So I decided one of the things I wanted to do, yep, I only have two pages of quests right now. Um, so I have Cheryl in my inventory, in my inventory, in my group right now. So I'm gonna also get Sherry and hope that maybe the two of them will just accidentally get lost and go to the wrong people. I know that's totally not a thing in this game, but I'm going to go to the Shadow Guild hideout. Um, there's only two dungeons left that I haven't gone through in Castle of Iron Fist. I take that back. There's a third, but I'm not going there yet. Um, is this really my last save? No, it's not. Or yes? Why am I injured? This is strange. Let me go reload at the start of the save and go heal myself. I could have swore I did some enchanting at the end, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Sorry, it's been a long month. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go over and heal up, then head over to the Dragoons and go clear that dungeon out. I should be high enough level to handle that. Live long and prosper. 285 is my reputation. I wish I had more magic points or regen of magic points so I can just fly instead of mountain climb down. I'm doing this because I'm lazy for reference. There's no other reason. It's slightly faster. And I mean very slightly faster. So, I need to go fight these goopers. Unfortunately, this party, as I've mentioned earlier, is not very good against archers. Regular lizard men, it's not too bad. It's the lizard wizards I'm worried about because they have a terrible name. Okay, there's two more in range, one more in range. Are you still in range? No. Ugh. I'm just gonna run away and run off the side of the map, aren't I? You know what? Fine. Ow. So I should probably explain the difference between turn-based mode and real-time mode. So, in turn-based mode, you are hit more often, believe it or not, but you can react to things a little bit faster. In turn-based mode, or in real-time mode, it takes you more effort to respond to things, because you're having to think about where you're being attacked and so on. Oh, well, hello, lizard wizard. Your name is terrible, you must die. Thank you. Boo, what are you doing? Boo Kitty's the one out and about right now. 
the reason why I only have one headphone, one ear on my headphone. One moment, please. Boo. Hey, Boo, you want to come up to the camera? You're coming up anyway. Ha ha! The key to all of my views is having cute cats. Actually, to be quite honest, if I cared about the views, I would do nothing but technology reviews because those get a massive number of views. They are both my most liked and least liked videos. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue. So the main thing about fighting archers in real-time mode is that you can't move in straight lines and you can't sit still for very long because then they will hit you. That's the advantage of going in... Um, excuse me, and moving in real time is the fact that I can dodge the attacks, whereas I wouldn't necessarily dodge them if I was going turn-based. Also need to be careful to make sure that I don't do that. Uh, dang it. So, as I mentioned in a previous episode, the enemies can actually go off the screen. I can't. And archers are notorious for doing this. So what ends up happening is that if I kill them off screen, ugh, stop. If I kill them off screen, I can't loot them without using the telekinesis spell. So I'm going to go this way. Don't want to walk back to Bootleg Bay anytime soon. I mean, look how much damage I'm taking. And luckily, I'm generally hardy enough where it's not that big of a deal. Also, look at the massive quantities of things that are dead. It's always nice. Everything's dead. Yay! Yes, I know I'm being attacked by a lizard. I don't care. Also, what day of the month is this? 20th, okay. So, at the start of February, I need to go climb that mountain right over there. I can also fly up most of the way, but... Well, this way lets me kill things. Uh, let me guess, Boo Kitty is playing around with the empty box and bags again. I need to give more interesting things to my cats to do. I mean, cat toys are nice and all, except that you have to play with the cat toys as well. And my cats really don't want to play with cat toys unless if you're playing with the cat toy. And I want to make sure that they have entertainment not just while I'm actively entertaining them. So what I'm trying to do is wrangle up the archers. So they don't walk over to bootleg bay. By the way, it's really hard to talk and fight in real-time mode at the same time. It's part of the reason why I'm pausing so much. Is that... Darn you. Okay, I can at least loot you. Hello, follower of Ba. They're just falling off the mountain. You can see over on the left side of the mini-map where they're at. Boo's eating something again, isn't she? It's the problem with me playing games while Boo's out and about. She will eat everything in sight, regardless of whether it's food or not. Let's go ahead and loot all the bodies. Make sure she's not eating anything hazardous. I see what she's playing with. One moment, please. Ooh, kitty, foam is not edible. You can play the box. The box is perfectly fine to play with, but not foam. Foam is not for you, okay? Same with the plastic bag. Meow. Hugging, as I was doing before I was so cutely interrupted. Right. And might as well go loot this thing, even though it's going to kill me. 
I don't mean the good part, I mean this. Ow. It's not even good loot. Ugh. I'm just gonna go fly back and heal again. Teacher. Actually, a teacher's not a terrible idea now that I think about it. Because teachers give 10% bonus on all XP gained. And right now, I'm mostly looking for XP. So, you are hired, teacher. Also, I can fly freely here. Because there are no dragon towers in this zone. There are only dragon towers in any of the zones that have um, temporal villages. Boo. Once more. Stop playing with the bags, please. I know you like playing with bags, but they're hazardous for kitties. Okay. <sighs> All right, Shadow Guild. It's supposed to be abandoned. It's totally not, though. And there's somebody in here. Look too safe around here. Yeah, this place is annoying, but I've fought all of the enemy types in here to my knowledge. What are you even going after, Boo? Is there another bag I missed? I swear, half of this video is going to be me getting up and trying to find what bag Boo is playing with. Yeah, you can't. You definitely should not be playing with that bag. No. No kitty cat. Isn't it fun watching me get up and down a bunch? Alright, so Shadow Guild. There are thieves here. These type of thieves. You recognize them, right? I'm a little more powerful than I was the last time I fought these. Because that was in the Freehaven sewers. So I at least have more hit points, which will help. Unfortunately, there's more of them here, and they're going after my clay. Oh, they broke something. You punk. Or, no, you didn't break something. Oh, yes, you did. Ugh. Fine. That missed. That didn't. You need to kill yourself because you're getting hit badly. A burglar there. You don't look like Frodo Baggins or Bilbo Baggins for that matter. They're trying to run away from me. How cute. They will attack if they're cornered for reference. When they're running away from low hit points. Alright, I do have That's lowercase, okay. I do have somebody with expert perception. I think that's all that's needed in here. This place is very strange. It's kind of a maze, but not really. Oh, that's right. That was a fireball trap. I forgot. <sighs> I'm doing great. How are you? Hi. Stew. Wow, weird lighting. You can see it kind of diminish as I move randomly. This game is very strange when it comes to its lighting. I mean, it kind of predates GPU lighting anyway, or really much in the way of GPUs. hitting broadside of barn anyway. 
Or just a thug. That's easy. Leather armor of defense. So 12 AC. Yeah, I much prefer the armor that I have. Hit points for, I'd rather have the AC. Your cell bait, these are just quest items. Wow, I need more potion bottles. That's something I don't get to say very often. Um, that's useless. All those crossbows are kind of garbage. Did I just hear news? I'm pretty sure that's the sound of the news. I mean, I could probably handle N ooze. already broken. You must have stolen something instead. Got that. I'll have to pay attention to see if there's anything that was take, like anything that I can loot from one of these guys other than money. I could probably watch the video. Now that I think about it. Spark's the only good spell I have right now for dungeons. Heal a little bit. I didn't mean for you to attack. That's okay. You know what? We're better off just attacking. Potion bottle. That's what was... Are you serious? You stole a potion bottle from me? You are the worst thief I've ever seen. And yes, I know one ran away. That's cell bait. That's barely even worth picking up. Likewise. Wizard I fell. Am I getting fireballed again for walking? No. There we go. All right. I don't think there was anything else in the triangle room, but I'm going to take another glance because everything in this place is a hidden button somewhere. Lowercase torch. Not seeing anything. I'm pretty sure this one is actually empty. Also, Go ahead and heal the only useful mage I have. Let's. Right, that's not true. My water mage is going to become the most useful mage really fast. That's not steam save. Stream save. Eight. Is it really eight? I'm getting a lot of deja vu here. Didn't I upload eight already? Let me take a look. Um, let's see, that is studio. Uh, today is really the first day of approaching winter, so. Okay, this one is the most recent one. Edit title, nope, I've only done seven, okay. That was weird. Alt-tabbing back and clicking at the same time. Skip the door animation. I was not expecting that. I know there's more hiding. No, there isn't any more hiding there. Okay, this is obviously trapped to hell and back. So I'm going to hit that later. Trying to find... So whenever there's a secret thing, it's usually in the middle of the wall because this game doesn't really have Z height. It's interesting. That's actually empty. That's money. I think this entire thing slides over from somewhere. That's what I seem to remember. And I thought it was a button in here. Well, here goes everything. 
Ow. Uh -oh. Letter from the Prince of Thieves. Mm. Continue with your work in Castle Iron Fist and New Serpical. The buffoons in the south are unprepared for us, so you should make you should be able to reap a wonderful harvest from them. Remember to make ex your examples sharp and clear, and the sheep will follow you anywhere. You notice there's a lot of references to sheep. Uh -huh. It's not a coincidence that there's a temple of Ba involved uh -huh. with things. Uh -huh. Just saying. And you need healing badly. I'm getting a little wary about the fact that I'm not seeing the button I was expecting to see. Gonna heal up out of yellow at least. Save. Turn base mode, open door. Lure them into the hallway. About here should be fine. Because that should roughly maximize sparks for me. Well, one there. Not a problem. I'm mostly just trying to reduce some of the glut of enemies sitting right there. Um, guys, you could just be attacking me, you know. I'm picking up a lot of leather armor. If only they actually dropped useful leather armor. Again, these are the leather class of enemies. They drop leather armor. Can you guess what the other classes of enemies drop? You should heal yourself. The AI is just brilliant right now, let me tell you. Okay, looking for secret panels again. There's a button. There's a trap chest. It's not trapped. These are not even worth picking up. Does not move that. What did that button do? I'm trying to remember. It's been such a long time since I've played through the game now. Five plus years? Okay, that's a lot all at once. Would be a lot better if I was all the way up. Like that. Okay, something got stolen. Can I spot something stolen? No idea. Did get a cloak of precision, though. Because you're wearing a garbage cloak. Now you're wearing something better. Hooray! Also, I keep not having OBS up. So I can see my current time. 23 minutes already? Really? Ugh. I am so slow at playing this game now. Alright, I'm starting to lose hit points in this. This is not so great. I don't really have MP recovery. See, it's a lot better when I actually just run up directly onto them. I remember this area. I was here in my test save. Empty barrel. White liquid. That is luck. The luck stat governs resistances. And, in theory at least, the enchant item skill. I am out of magic. Was that gauntlets that you have? Or was the amulet? I'm going to swap this temporarily. That way somebody else gets healed for a bit. Large storeroom with obviously nobody inside. Actually, it doesn't have anybody inside. Green liquid, endurance. Who needs endurance? 46, 38, 42, 44. 
There's the button. White liquid. Oops. White liquid is luck. Yellow liquid is accuracy. Blue liquid is personality. Blue liquid still personality. Purple, purple, that's speed. Everybody needs speed. 34, 44, 34, 35. There, they're all full 35 now. Money, and I believe this is random Hi. junk. Uh -huh. That's actually not that much junk. Uh -huh. That's enchantable. That is definitely enchantable. Where'd it go? Did I actually pick it up? Yes, okay, good. That's a much better weapon. There you go. Merry Christmas. Um, plus four, plus two. So this is actually better for her right now. So the bonus that it, uh, the shoot plus is chance to hit. Uh, the rest is damage. So in somebody's case where they have problems hitting things, like say any of my poor, poor mages with their lovely lack of dexterity, then it makes sense to give them things with a higher bonus to hit. Even though the damage is equal, basically. I see them moving. There they are. It's like, why are you not on wizard eye? Ah. There we go. Anyway, um, that opens something. And I don't know what, so I'm gonna go back and check things. I want to say it was the bed. The bed is a special thing, if I remember correctly. Nope. Not the bed. Okay. That might have just been the hallway then. Maybe I need to come at this from the other direction to get out of the bed. Anyway, um, there is something special about this dungeon. Just like there was something special about the previous one, actually. There's a hidden door to easily get out. This is a very short dungeon, by the way. And this is the last room I have not entered beyond that way. Hey, look, there's something red immediately behind this door. Hey, look, it's a bunch of nasties. Who would have guessed? You know what? You're on ice bolt duty now. I should probably explain how resistances work in this game. So if you're familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, this game uses a lot of mechanics from generalized D&D. Resistances, so these numbers down here, are they categorize the five types of magic. Damage, that is. Magic, electricity, cold, poison, and magic. Magic. They got better at naming these in My Magic 7. Um, there's also physical damage, energy damage, and undead damage, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. Undead is weird exception in this case. That's a broken item. What'd you break? I don't even see anything that you broke. I'm confused. I don't even see them, so I'm going to have to do that. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, Enemies in the game can have resistances to all of those except for energy. There's nothing in the game that's immune to uh, that has any resistance energy, both player and character. In a ring, yes, please. Empty bucket. Anything on the armoire? No. And I think this is it beyond the trap treasure chest and the area I can't reach right now. So, am I gonna die? No. Guild key. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
not worth it. You have some very skewed opinions as to what nice is. I'm just collecting items for sale. I'm not actually <sighs> trying to grab anything useful because all of these are terrible. This should go to her. I'm not going to fit in a bow in here, am I? Oh, no, I might be able to. Like that. There we go. All right, this place is clear for the time being, other than the fireball trap room and the part that I can't reach. Notice everything's green at this point, although I'm going to get fireballed by trying to open up that door again, I bet. Ha. Oh, right, I have to walk all the way around. Ugh, this dungeon. Again, short dungeon. I wasn't trying to go for anything super long in this case. I just want to have fun playing games. And this is quite stress relieving for me. Okay. Uh, who has the key right now? You do. Hey, how's yep. it going? There's Sherry. Thank you for rescuing me from these horrible ruffians. I'd like to go back home to New Sorpical now. So if I remember right, if I were to cast Town Portal right now, well, that's right, it's not going to work because, yeah, it would take me back to Freehaven. I don't want to go to Freehaven. I don't want to go to Freehaven. That's an empty barrel, empty and yellow. So my cleric's gonna die. Oh, red, that's might. Empty, purple is speed. Who needs speed at this point? 35, 44, 35, 35. I'm gonna give it to you because now you have a number divisible by five. So what it is, and if I had higher perception, I'd be able to see this, is you can't see where I'm pointing at. So I'm gonna use the mouse. This spot here is a pressure plate for the fireball trap. So I think, and I'm going to be dead anyway if I don't try this, so there we go, did it. Just had to jump over it. I just can't ever remember where to jump. All right, now that we're done with that, let's go heal up and go do something else. I'm probably gonna clear out uh, more of this area. I'm not gonna go into another dungeon this episode because uh, well, I guess I could start Ba. That dungeon's very long. It would probably take more than an hour for me to go through it anyway. Well, certainly advantages that idea. Oh, let's sell some stuff. Hopefully I can sell some stuff right now and not everything's closed. All right. Sell, 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 sell. Anything I can buy that I can enchant. Yes. I'm going to start buying things that are enchantable. And the reason for that is that I can sell them for money. That, I don't think I can enchant studded armor. I think that's too low. Okay, I did not hit anybody. Whew. Yes. All right, correct spell this time. So while I'm doing that, oh, here's the arrows and string, isn't it? Eagle's eye. Oh, did I just go over? Yes, I did. Drat. Well, I guess I'm just going to be enchanting. So what did this turn into? Electric resistance, 12. I think I'd rather have spell points. Lunar Ring of Doom. Nice. Didn't I figure out that this was... Oh, this is actually a cloak I picked up. Never mind. So you now have a better elven cloak. Hooray. Next Lunar Ring. And I think that was all I could... Oh. 
the gauntlets I picked up. This lunar ring is accuracy plus nine. Nice. Eventually, these items that I'm enchanting right now will end up getting thrown into the garbage because they're low numbers. Um, t plus 25 is as high up as these go that aren't artifacts or relics, at least. And you can't enchant a relic. Although you can totally antique something with enchantment. Don't ask how that works. Might plus 6. What do you have now? Might plus 8. Okay, and that's just cell bait then. Because, yeah, everybody else has got better. Yeah, everything's closed again. Oh, so something I'm going to do right now is give you a bunch of skill points. You need four more skill points to become a water master. Good to know. I don't think I have two more horseshoes, do I? So dang many yellow things. These um, poppy snaps are the most common item in the game, I think. Anyway, just trying to clear out some inventory space, that's all. There we go. Now you're full. Let's go ahead and heal. And I'm at 285 still. Let's go ahead and, I guess, continue on. It's only been 37 minutes. Um, well, Bah, my friend. Let's go deal with some Bah. Bah! Humbug. So this is going to end up being a two-part dungeon in this case, just because the Temple of Bah is a fairly large and relatively complicated dungeon that will be fairly lethal to me. Um... The Temple of Ba is really the first dungeon in the game that you go through when you're playing the game that you go, oh, 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 this is not as easy as I thought. And as a kid, Temple of Ba is the dungeon that after leaving the Dragoon's Caverns, I would come here and go, how am I supposed to deal with this? Um, I'm a little low level also, that doesn't help things. But hey, when you enter, you are conditioned green. Which is nice, because that means you can actually rest in this hallway here, usually. You won't be conditioned green for long. The reason why you're conditioned green is because everything's freaking huge. And don't worry. This will become a lot scarier shortly. See? There's no enemies here whatsoever. Ignore the fact that things turned yellow and back. So, what I'm going to do is, first off, cast Wizard Eye, because this dungeon loves throwing things behind you. Uh, I think it's Priests of Ba, Skellies, and Spiders, I want to say. What are the contents in this dungeon? Those are Skellies. Those are Spiders, okay. Uh, the Spiders are the most annoying, because once more, they're the wrong color. On the plus side... They're spiders. Spiders are easy at this point. Skeletons, on the other hand, not easy. Especially these assholes. You'll notice that I'll focus on the skeleton knight basically to the exclusion of everything else. There's a reason for that. They're some of the most annoying character, er, annoying enemies that you can fight. And I'm gonna be conserving magic a little bit more than what you normally see me do. There's good reason because there's a lot of enemies in here, and I'm going to have to use magic on crowd control. Basically, this is the dungeon where I really wish I had fireball. Ah, uh, crap. 
I'm gonna kite it a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't move as fast backwards as I do forwards. See how many enemies there are already? And I'm bouncing again, great. I have to be very careful of these skeleton lords. They have an attack that's nasty. <sighs> if only I had Lloyd's Beak in this area, it would be a lot easier for me. I need to aim down for my sparks. Like that. Much better. Tired of everything bouncing. So this is actually going to be a fairly profitable dungeon for reference. Um, this is your first major source of money in the game, usually. Is the contents of this dungeon. It's because there's so freaking many enemies in here. I actually have to zoom out on the mini-map to see where the enemies are. Because they will be beyond the range of the mini-map. Look! I'm in green. I can literally see enemies, and I am in green condition because of how far away they are. And now, everything's coming toward me. By the way, I don't even need to go down here. This is completely optional. But it's really good experience, especially while I have my scholar plus teacher, and I also have the two cherries. Apparently all of the people that are following me are women, I just noticed. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Now I can go cast some sparks. What are you doing, boo? Meow. Meow. She's at my feet right now. It's adorable. Uh, so many enemies in here. So many. Again, I don't have to clear out these corners. There's not much in them, to be honest. I'm doing it because they're really good XP. And I can use the XP. Because I need to level up a little bit more. For my goal, which is I want him to have, I think it's 13 ranks of water that I need. Let me double check really fast. And... Do, 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 do. Twelve, okay. So I need 10 plus 11 plus 12 skill points. So that is 11 times 3, which is 33. I currently have 6, so I need uh, 27 more skill points or 5 level ups and a horseshoe. So I want to level up 5 times as a result. At the moment, I can level up 4 times. So I'm not that far off of where I need to be, to be honest. I see you, Skeleton Lord. It's not that Skeleton Lords hit hard. It's that, was it that they curse you, if I remember correctly? And curses are nasty for this party. I don't want to have to deal with them. I don't think that one's in melee range. It's not. All right, clear out this area. Grabbing stuff and things. Taking out the spiders trying to run away from me. There we go. All right, now it's time for collecting loot. All right. That's an alicorn horn. That's actually a really nice 
thing. I mean, the spell on it's not that great, but that's okay. Skull Pile of Weakness. If I remember correctly, yep, I am in fact high enough level to grab things out of Skull Piles at this point. So what it is, is that you click on the Skull Pile. If your perception is low enough, you get the status effect. If your perception's high enough, you get an item. These are things of magic resistance. Steaming Brew is fire resistance. Honestly, I think all of my resistances are just going to go to the cleric. Skull Pile of Weakness. Oh. It might be based off of what it's a Skull Pile of. Like, for instance, there's a Skull Pile of Death. That is totally a thing in this game. Skull Pile of Insanity. Nice. Poison Spray. Eh. This Cook Pot here, which will give me three food and a oh. ring that I can totally enchant. A plus. We'll grab from again. And that's all that's in here. It's not much to these little corner caves. And once more, I don't have OBS up. There we go. Uh, I'm at 46 minutes. I probably have enough time to do the corner caves or maybe news. Oh, uh, yeah, you see that little red dot that's hitting? That's a fireball that's constantly hitting that door. So the moment I open that door, that fireball will start going through all sorts of places. It's not great. Okay. Let's go down here. Get a bunch of angry things again. This one might be mostly spiders, actually. Because I think the corners are all just spiders and skellies. By the way, this is a temple of Ba. This is not the temple of Ba. This is a temple of Ba. There's a lot of temples of Ba in this game. Um, there's three of them that count as dungeons. Uh, the ones that are quote unquote friendly that will heal you are called Ba temples instead. Got that one. The spiders are not really that scary to me at this point. Um, they can poison. That's about the worst thing that they can do. Like I said, they can poison. This isn't even high. Oh, this is actually very high level poison. Notice that her might is down to eight. By the way, if your endurance drops to zero, you immediately die. Just as an FYI. It's not something that they ever tell you about in the game. I found out about it the hard way in Might Magic 7. Technically, you actually can live through negative endurance for short periods of time if you have the bodybuilding skill, if I remember right. So what it is is that it drops your maximum hit points down below zero, which means you just immediately die. Normally, you have to be at de double negative maximum hit points, or is it single ne negative? I don't remember which now, before you die. By dropping your endurance so low, that just means that that happens almost immediately. I am really tempted to just start using Inferno. Screw it, I'll use it once. This dungeon's great for if you have Inferno to just kill everything in sight. I'm just going to go make the Spideys angry. And basically try to lure all of them to me. So I have a method in my madness as to why I'm doing it this way. And it's really simple. I would rather fight everybody like this than fight them one at a time. Because it would take too long. Because I am going to actually run back and go back to town shortly after this. You should probably heal up my sorcerer before he dies. Why am I having such a hard time hitting things? I don't know. Uh, ice bolt. Okay. 
anyway, as I was saying, I was explaining how resistances work in this game. My apologies, I completely lost track of that. So the way resistances work is that it's a roll. I don't know what exactly you're rolling. I have not figured that out. It's the same thing to roll the hit, basically. But basically, you roll some type of die. And very similar to D&D, &D, if you pass the check, you take reduced damage or no damage. If you fail the check, you take full damage. In this case, if you fail the check, you take full damage. If you pass the check, you roll another check with a higher difficulty. And if you fail that one, you take half damage. If you pass that one, you roll again. If you pass, if you fail that one, you take quarter damage, and so on. Basically, it keeps re-rolling for half damage until eventually you fail the check. Or alternately, if you don't fail the check, you just take zero damage eventually because of rounding. So really high resistances are one of the few things in this game that don't really have diminishing returns. You want as high of a resistance as possible. Because that means you don't take damage from magic as often. Now, as I mentioned, that there's more types of resistances than what's just available. Unfortunately, what that means is that there are monsters in this game who have resistances that you cannot. In this case, I am talking about physical resistance. Physical resistance does exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to resist physical damage. I think the only difference in the skull piles is the quality of thing. Also, I can now search trash heaps without getting disease, which is nice because of perception. Yeah, because I'm getting crappy spell scrolls from the uh, skull piles of weakness and so on, but really good spell scrolls from the other stuff. All right, that's two of them down. Yeah, I think at best I'm going to complete the corners of the caves and that's it, which is fine. So this is just grinding, basically. I don't have Wizard Eye again. That is very dangerous for me in this dungeon. More spideys. Not having wizard eye is practically deadly in this dungeon because there are traps that will trigger monsters spawning behind you. So you need to be very careful in this game. Nope, there is Ba in here. Okay, good to know. Bring everybody up. Stand at the top here. Go into turn base mode and go to town. I may end up having to start kiting. I am better at physical attacks than ranged attacks right now. Ugh, oh, poison. You know what? I'm actually going to cure that one with a potion. I have them. I probably should have been doing that anyway. See? They're immune to poison. So that's the other thing that um, enemies can have that you can't is actual immunity. This is what I mean by the game tells you that hardly anything resists poison. Well, these spiders do. There's a lot of things that resist poison, actually. And it's really obnoxious. Um, poison is the second highest number of resistances in the game, if I remember right. No, it's third highest. Second highest is fire, high, or immunities, not resistances. Second highest is fire, first highest is magic. Practically everything's immune to magic in this game. I am out of magic, speaking of. Yep, it's time to start kiting. I'm taking too much damage. actually doing fairly well in killing all the spiders it's just there's too many of them another cure poison i need to heal you it's because spiders are really easy to hit they have very low ac 
I also drop next to nothing and give very little experience, but you know, technically, oh, oh, you're out of magic. Okay. It's actually more efficient for me to give him magic than it is for me to heal using a healing potion in this game for some reason. Okay. So, got three more spiders. Spiders are down. I've got one more group of spiders and two groups of ba to deal with. So I'm going to wrangle them up by moving close. Preferably not getting hit. That would be nice. Yep. So the problem is always whenever you move straight on from the enemy, that's when they can hit you more easily in real-time mode. In turn-based mode, it doesn't matter. They can hit you regardless of what angle you're sitting at because you're not moving. Uh, that's not entirely true, actually. You can move in turn-based mode in Might Magic 6. You can just move up and down, and it only works if you're outdoors. In Might Magic 7 and 8, you can actually move in turn-based mode. There's a turn that allows you to move. But that's more of an exception rather than a rule. I want to kill those Ba. I have to be a little careful. I heard that fist. That's from a priest of Ba. That's why I have to be careful. Because priests are relatively powerful. And I don't particularly want to fight them right now. Not combined with other things, at least. Right, just one left. This isn't too bad. There we go. All taken care of. Skull Pile of Death has a scroll of, uh, scroll of Starburst, which is nice. Starburst is one of the best spells in the game. Certainly one of the best offensive spells in the game. Uh -huh. Healing Touch, so a healing scroll. In fact, I might as well just use that now. Where'd you go? There it is. Because I'm not going to use it for anything else anyway. Trash Heap, I pulled uh -huh. Shadow Dagger. I guess it's worth money. Ah. Stone skin. I guess that's a spell that's almost useful. Um, is that it? I think that's it. All right. We've got one more left. And I'm going to swap amulets again. Also, what time is it? 1.32 in the morning. It is now February 1st. So that was one of my goals, is that I wanted to make sure that I reached February so I can go up and go talk with the count, the uh, Oracle. Which, once more, you're sort of told that the Oracle is there, and that's about it. Uh, I might as well just finish off these caves before heading out. This is the, I don't want to call it the easy part of the dungeon. This is the simple part of the dungeon. This is nothing but skellies, isn't it? Yep. Oh boy. Nope, it's skellies and bah. Of course it is. Why make anything easy? Prepare to see a lot of shooting skellies with bows. So that's kind of what happens at a certain point of this game. Okay, I should be okay. Skellies aren't powerful, they're just really powerful in numbers. And skeleton lords can be really obnoxious. Oh boy. Also, what happened to the music? Just noticed that I didn't hear any music. 
His skellies are worth money. I am in range of the bar. Try it. I was hoping just shoot skeletons at a long range. Nope, too long of a range. So I can see the skeletons off on the corner. I mean, I'm not very far from the temple, so I'm not too concerned. That's a little more concerning. That's even more concerning because that means I am once more out of magic. I'm just gonna do that for the time being because I don't want that character to die. That was a good plan. Do I have magic regeneration on him? I thought I did. That's right, I don't have any SP regeneration right now. If I did, it would totally be on this character. Yeah, I don't have any. Okay. Let's run in. Uh, damn it. I'm getting knocked unconscious. That's not good. Okay. Drink that. Attack. Heal. I don't think it really matters in this case. Heal you. Then heal you. Attack, attack, okay. I've got Ba down there that I'm a little concerned about. Out of I'm so low on magic, I probably shouldn't have gone in. Oh, your skelly's not Ba. This is fine. My speed is so bad. Okay. Let's see if I can take on those last two. Normally don't like fighting mages at a range because got that one. You're at a disadvantage compared to them. That's easier for them to hit you than it is for you to hit them, unless if you're also using magic. Because that was going to hit no matter what I did. There we go. All right. Do I only have skellies left, or are there are also bah skellies, skellies. I think it's just skellies, so I should be okay. I really just want to finish this before heading back. Go grab everybody's attention. Yeah, nobody's firing ranged attacks at me. It's all skellies. Good. Skellies I can handle at a range. Come on. Let's go right here. Ah, um, weak. Crap. Or is the first character insane? All weak. Okay. Your weakness on the one that matters. So for reference, for what weakness does, it's nothing. What? I should have stat decreases from weakness. Why am I not seeing any? That's a bug. I was not expecting this. Hmm. Did I s never notice that weakness doesn't work properly? Okay, just going up to the top here. Giving myself some more room to kite. Because skeleton lords. See how much more damage they take compared to the rest of the skellies. Give myself some more range because I'm very weak right now. Huh, huh, weakness status. 
have next to nothing in hit points. Let's see. I've got one character with four hit points, one with 10, one with 18, and one with 90. And the only reason why Matt has 18 is because he's got the regen item on. So at some point, I will actually end up with regen items on everybody. That is one of the goals I usually have in this game, is to make sure that everybody can regenerate um, HP, and everybody who has SP can regenerate SP. I'm going to cure weakness anyway, just because. Alright, so if that did 34 damage, they probably have about 65 hit points. Got that one. Right. Wizard Eye, which ends my MP or SP. Why is it that RPGs alternate between MP, SP, EP, whatever P, other types of P? That was the wrong button. I want to use arrows. You're a regular skeleton after all. All right. I still have two groups of skelly bros down there. I am going to take them out because, like I said, I'm going to finish the four cave corners. All right, I've woken them up. I've woken them up. Let's move to the entrance, enter turn base mode, turn around, and start arrowing. And taken care of. Okay. Loot the place. Then GTFO back to Castle Iron Fist. Nothing in these trash heaps for some reason. I know there's stuff throughout all of the uh, New Storp, or not New Storp, cool, um, Freehaven ones. But I don't know if I've ever bothered checking down here, to be honest. Anyway. Cooking pot. Two food. Skull piles. Skulls for the skull throne. Uh -huh. Jump scroll. Could be useful. Uh -huh. Barely even worth the inventory space, but well, since I'm going to town after this anyway, it's not that big of a deal. Notice that I'm already up at over 40,000 money, even though I've only done the four corners so i've done this for reference the dungeon goes all the way over here and it's multiple stories and so on this is a fairly large dungeon like i said anyway i'm going to go run back to town and we will be done uh if you want to just stop watching here that's fine uh, all i'm going to do is run back and heal uh, let's see how many it's 4 35 in the morning so by the time I get back, I will be fine. This may even be like a three-part dungeon now that I think about it. This dungeon's huge with a very large number of enemies in it. This is when you realize that the game's not joking around and will try to kill you dead. Mm, jumping. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. So... Well, while I'm walking back, I might as well talk a little bit. Uh, I've been hearing positive things about my videos. I'm glad people are liking them. If there's any tips and suggestions of things I can do, I'm just trying to talk about things. Like, either things that are on screen or things that, you know, the game reminds me of in my life. Stuff like that. If there's anything like that, just let me know. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and cure weakness. I don't want to have to pay extra at the temple. Uh, you have to pay extra if you have a status effect. And each temple has a different quote-unquote base cost. This temple's base cost is 30. So I think it would have been 60 for curing weakness. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and save. 
and I will talk to you at the next video, which I shouldn't record tonight as much as I want to keep playing. Oh, I probably do have enough time. I've already taken a shower for the night. No, I should clean up. I will go ahead and stop here. Enjoy. I will talk to you tomorrow.